Questions coming in. Looks like Danny and Boss is asking Walker and Nick any advice on cleaning soot buildup in the interior of the laser and on the honeycomb. I think we get this question a lot, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So I would get the big pieces with a shop vac or normal vacuum. Oh, you're talking about just uh, sucking out the pieces from inside? Yeah, the yeah. Because yeah. you an have easy larger one. pieces. Of yeah, the soot, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then the additional stuff, what or do we like to do? I mean, we love the garden variety um, oven cleaner, like yeah. just your 99 cent store or... There's no particular brand. Yeah. It just all works pretty good. Yeah. The, um, what's the one we have right now? The Easy Off. Easy Off. Yeah. Easy Off works great. I think that was 99 cents for a bottle that's lasted us months now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Easy Off's great. I think the best part about Easy Off's, if like the honeycomb, you just spray it and let it sit for an hour. Set it and forget or, yeah, it. Yeah. So just spray your honeycomb with it. Make sure you get a good soaking of it and then with warm water that's not pressurized that's not like putting out yeah. like just just pouring out of the end of the, your hose with no nozzle don't put your thumb over it mm -hmm. you just don't want to bend your honeycomb with pressurized water just rinse it off and you'll be surprised on how clean your honeycomb gets but spraying on the inside of your machine it's amazing how clean it gets right yeah i thought you meant with the hose for a second I was no like, no no hose inside the machine yeah. the easy off inside the machine but uh we've done an ab side test where we just cleaned half the laser and it looks brand new when mm. you do it like it's it really comes off quick and easy uh other things people use is like um uh, Goo gone, uh, other little things like that to get details. Yeah, but honestly, some solvents, but yeah. But at the end of the day, like your laser's just gonna keep getting dirty. So we'd like to keep like the bulk of the stuff off. Uh, yeah, I, I think that if the if the debris and stuff that's building up all that soot and gunk and glue that you're cutting through is building up on the honeycomb, then that's going to be an issue because you want that nice and flat. Absolutely. So and you don't want it to be tacky. You don't want it to get on your material because yeah, yeah. you're gonna ruin that bottom half. Absolutely. Especially if you're doing paper. So good. Hi everyone. Like the videos? Subscribe to our channel. Think you like the videos? Keep watching. Then subscribe to our channel.